Step-by-step -step tutorial getting your Facebook shop approved. How's it going guys and welcome back to the channel. I'm super excited to make this video today because I think this video is going to be very informative for a lot of you guys because I know that we've been talking to a lot of you guys and you guys are struggling to get your shops approved and you've been getting restrictions and then marketplace is getting locked out and everything under the sun with going on with shops. So I'm actually going to make a video right here where I go through building out a complete shop, showing you how to get that approved and just really a step by step tutorial so that you guys know the best possible way to go make your shops right now because we've been telling you guys go make like five, six, seven, eight shops. And then by the time that it comes out where they're saying they're gonna be giving everybody the marketplace option come January, early January they've been saying, you guys will all be ready with approved shops and ready to start killing it once January comes around. Because once January comes around, like we've been telling people on our subscription website that w once January hits and these shops start getting marketplace on all of them, well, you can start hiring out VAs to go in these shops and we've been showing them the best way to post on a shop and you're gonna be able to make a serious, serious profit on each shop and if you start getting five, six, seven, eight shops and you hire a VA to go post manually on those shops or bulk list, whichever one you wanna do, they're gonna be able to get an insane profit. You could be looking at anywhere from three to six K in profit off of each shop. So if you start scaling up and adding multiple shops and you can make a lot of money through Facebook shops. And that's one more thing before I get into the video right here and I go through building this out is I was talking about the subscription website. We officially just ended the beta a couple days ago and now we're into the bulk where where we're really trying to get after it, trying to give you guys advice in there. And we have a community group chat where we've loved how active you guys have been with that, helping each other out. And we've been able to help you guys out in there. And then you guys are all booking the Zoom calls, which we've been loving. We've been hopping on. I think we've already been on like 20 plus Zoom calls with people. And we've been loving that. And if you're not in there already, I really, really recommend you get in there. It is $20 a month but $20 a month for one-on-one -on -one Zoom calls where we can actually come in here and it doesn't have to be with shops, but if it's with shops and you want us to help you build out one, if you have any questions for us or if you're trying to get start, started on Marketplace, we've been helping people with everything. So you can hop on a Zoom call with us and book one of those through there. We can get on there, help you help you with whatever you need, really. It, it doesn't matter what you need, whether you have questions about shops, Marketplace, uh, software or any anything you can think of we can hop in there and help you out and then on top of that we have the community group chat like I was saying where we can answer questions in there and you can get advice from other people and we can kind of brainstorm ideas because that's kind of me and Hunter are always bouncing ideas off each other how to how to list the best possible way and how to get more views and how to get more sales so we can kind of use that to talk to you guys through there and bounce ideas off each other to figure out the best possible ways to get more sales and more views on those listings. So definitely go check that out. The link is in the description if you guys do want to join that. So definitely, at least if you just want to come in for a month and get a feel for it, I really think you guys are going to love this this website we're coming out with. We want to make it the best possible experience for, for everybody in there. We're adding so many things and we're going to be adding like seven figure sellers into there. And we have the FBM Fox owner that's actually in there so he can answer questions about the software. And now I'm just kind of rambling, but there's really is so much that we've packed inside it, and I really recommend that you guys go give that a try. And I think it's really going to help increase your your results you're seeing on marketplace and shops. But without further ado, let me actually get into the, my laptop here and start showing you guys how to actually build through a shop. So here we are actually inside of the Commerce Manager now, and this is actually where you're going to want to be to build out a shop. And I can actually put this link down in the description. So if you guys don't know how to get to this page, which I know there's a few of you guys that don't, I've had to send it that way, which is which there's no no worries there. I'll link that in the bottom of the description so that you can actually click on this, get pull right up to this page. You can see exactly what I'm seeing so that you can actually just follow along in this video and build through shops. And I really recommend that you guys actually, it, it doesn't take long, you'll see. It's gonna take me like three to four minutes to build through the shop. So I definitely recommend that you guys actually build through probably somewhere from like three to four shops. And one thing I will say is, they definitely stop you at a certain point where they hit you with something where you have to wait like 24 to 48 hours to make more shops. So make as many shops as you can up until you get hit with that and then wait like two, three days and just let those shops kind of get into the review process and then go make more. And I, I would just make, I mean, really as many as you can so that you're getting them approved. And like I said, I'm going to be coming out with more videos in the future talking about how to how to like hire trained VAs and then so you can assign them to these shops and you can make a serious killing scaling up through that way. But also like I was talking about the subscription website, we're coming out with a course on that, how to hire and train a VA and do all that and then assign them to this and scale up through that way. So like I already mentioned that, I know I was rambling on about that, but let's actually go through now and build this shop. So what we're gonna do is click add shop right here. 
and then we're gonna click on Facebook. Most of you guys already probably know this part at least. And then we're gonna click on it. So if you're not gonna be going through Shopify or anything like that, and you're just gonna be checking out here, which I definitely recommend for right now, there's definitely a space for building out a Shopify website, but that's not what we're talking about in this video. But if you guys do want a video on that, then you can comment down below and I could make something on that if you guys are interested in that. And then we're just gonna create a new page and the page doesn't matter. I know a lot of people get caught up in building out this whole huge page, but I'm telling you, that really doesn't matter. You just need to, the the shoppers on, on Marketplace aren't clicking and going scrolling down your page. They're just checking out right on the listing right there. Some might click on your shop and they can scroll down your shop, but that's not your page. So there's, I think that's kind of something, kind of a gray area where people don't understand the difference from the page and then the shop. Like your page is not your shop. That's not where all your items are being listed. Your page is just, where you could technically, if you were trying to build out a brand and going for a niche shop, then I definitely recommend being active on a page and putting posts out like that. But if that's not what you're going for and you're just a general general store and you're just trying to, and you were selling on Marketplace, but now you're trying to move over to shops just because the views and sales are a lot more, which was the same case for us and we'll eventually try to get into get in making a niche shop. But for right now, I definitely recommend just staying with this. So let's just put in any shop name right here and I'm just gonna put in um, Kyle's shop, honestly, and we'll just leave it right there. And hopefully it actually makes me, like I said, they cap you out of these shops you can make. And I've made a, quite a few shops today just because I was hopping on Zoom calls with people and we were showing them how to go through the process of building out a shop. So hopefully they actually let me do it again here. But I think, I think they will. I haven't run into too many problems and I only made like, I think three today. So hopefully they allow me a fourth here. So when you're creating the page, it's gonna load through a little bit. And then here we go, we got Kyle's shop right here. We're gonna click next on this. And then to add a business manager, I do recommend that you're putting all these ones on different business managers. And I'll explain a little bit about this. This is super important actually. So hopefully you guys have sticked around in this part in the video if you are trying to move over to shops, this is extremely important. When you're actually building out a shop like this and you're making multiple shops. So let me explain this. You have your Facebook account and then you have a business manager you have business managers below that. And then below that, now we have different shops. So you can put multiple shops onto a business manager. And I'm not sure what the cap on that, people say it, talk about five, but you can have as many business, like you can have, I think, up to like five business managers they allow you, they say, but then you can also have as many shops inside of those business managers as you want, at least with our experience. So, I mean, you can have, we've made business managers before where they have like up to like five shops on it. So I mean, like if you do five times five, five business managers and then five shops under each, that's 25 shops and you don't even need that many. And then if you if you need more than that, then make another Facebook account and then you can do it that way. But so back to what I was saying, with these restrictions out, they're not locking out the shop. What they're doing is they're locking down the business manager and they're restricting the business manager. So let's say you have three shops under one business manager. If they lock you out on that, all three shops are locked out and now you have no income coming in. So spread this out along a couple different business managers. And it really should be, I wouldn't go more than two shops on a business manager. Try to keep it one shop, one business manager. So you can kind of, if one gets locked out, you still have two or three others that are still live and that you're getting sales from. For the sake of this video, I'm not gonna build a new business manager right now. I'm just gonna click on this one right here. And then, but you can just, it's simple. You just go in there and just create a new business manager. I think you literally just put in an email and like a name it. And no one's gonna see the name of your business manager. So you don't need a good name for your business manager. Put in shipping right here. And we didn't add any products right there. We're gonna skip that step. We're gonna add products later. So, and then we're gonna put in $0 for shipping. And you can change the shipping later. You don't have to stay to the shipping. I'm just putting this in now, just for an example, for the sake of the video. But you can come back in here once we get in and you can change the shipping if you do, because that we do have one shop where we charge a flat rate of $10 shipping across the whole thing. And we've been seeing margins from 30 to $50 on that shop. So that's been killing it for us. And then we're just gonna click on this box and we're gonna finish the setup. So this is gonna take a little second to load through here, finishing this setup. And then after this, too many attempts. See where it actually says, this is actually all right that it says in this video. I'm gonna go pick up from where I left off on another shop, but it is a good example in this video. You see how it says too many attempts and then it says try again in 24 hours. Now I've made too many today and I need to wait to go make more. But we did get through this whole thing. So what you would do is just hit finish setup and I'm gonna pick up exactly with the screen that it's gonna leave you off on once you actually finish through making that. So I'm just gonna go to one of the shops that we were creating today because we were creating a ton of those. 
Let me go to yeah. See, we're, there's a ton of shops that literally have like stupid names on them just because we were building them out. I'm gonna go inside of here, and we never finished doing the pro. Yeah, see, setup payouts. So this is where it's gonna hit you. It's gonna say setup payouts once you go through there, and you're gonna click setup payouts, and you'll be right on this screen right here. So you're you're gonna be right back caught up with us, and this is the second kind of the second half of building out a shop. That was the first half. Now we're in the second half where you're kind of doing all the tax information, you're linking a bank account, and then putting in, like I said, the tax information, your social security, and then a business category in your address. So right here, I'm not gonna do it just because it'd be my address, but put in your address right here. Select state, select all that, and then just put in an email address that you use and that you want the emails coming through on. Then you'll click next on there, it'll put the green check up here. Then what you're gonna do is, I just recommend going miscellaneous and specialty retail shops. You can do whatever you want, it really doesn't matter. Just, if you don't know what you wanna do though, just click on this one, this, this works for us. I would just go with that, I don't think it matters either. So and then when you get to state taxes, this is where, if you have an LLC or a S Corp or anything like that, you can actually enter your state, your state tax registration number and put that right in through here and that's how you can sell as your business. But if you're just selling with your social security number, and that's another question we get asked a lot, you can make as many shops with that social security and the EIN number as you want. So don't feel like you can only make like one or two. Like we always talk about making a ton of them and you can make that under the same number. It's not like marketplace. So if you saw what I clicked on right there, what you're gonna do is hit click, skip this step if you're using a social security number. That's gonna pull you into this page right here. You'll click individual, that'll pull up the social security number. You'll put in your name, social security number, and then the date of birth. And you guys know how to do all that. Obviously, again, I'm not gonna do that right now. And then we're gonna come down here, we're gonna link the bank account. And then of course, just put in your guys' bank accounts. And then you're gonna hit finish setup, and then that will process through. And then once you're do done doing that, so for example, this is a, a business manager that is locked out. That's why when we made this today, it got rejected automatically because this business manager right now is restricted. We're gonna get it unrestricted, but we actually don't even have any live shops that we use through this business manager. So we kind of just use this to test and um, like show you guys how to, how to build through a shop. But what you're gonna wanna see here is something in yellow where it says that they're reviewing your shop. This could take up to one to four weeks. That's a good sign. If they don't, if you don't get rejected right away, that's definitely a good sign that they are gonna review it because now maybe in three to four weeks, they'll send you a notification saying that your shop has been approved. And then down here, uh, you can also just have where they tell you that your commerce account is approved right away. And obviously that's the best case scenario because you're approved and you're in right away. But it is what it is because Marketplace might not be available till January 2022 because that's, so that's why we're kind of really expressing getting these shops approved and ready so that when Marketplace is en enabled for everyone come January 2022, you can get right on that with approved shops. So that's what you're looking for. If your shop, sometimes it won't say in the shop that it's been approved, but if it doesn't say that it's not approved with a red thing right here where it says shop cannot be published or it doesn't have a yellow right here in the announcements, and it doesn't say that it's taking one to four weeks to get approved or whatever it says, that means you're approved. Even if it doesn't say it, sometimes it won't be in the announcements. It's, it's glitchy and weird like that. You guys know shops, it, well, not even shops. Facebook in general can be glitchy all the time. So, But you are, you are good. And this is another thing that I've been seeing when we go into Zoom calls and we look at people's shops. You need to fill this out for your shop to go live or else you're not gonna be able to get sales. So you need to add items in here and you need to add at least five to six items, it's somewhere in there, it always changes, I don't know, like I said, they're glitchy. Just add six to be safe. Six to be safe and you're gonna get a green check right here. Then you'll have the green check on Customize Shop, then you can come down here and click Publish, but you can't publish a shop till it's approved. So once you get the notification it's approved, in like, let's say three weeks you get it approved, come back in here, publish the shop, it takes two seconds, you click on right down here, that's not even let me go to it, you'll just click right here, Publish Shop, and then you'll go down to the bottom right, you'll click Publish and it'll go live. And then once you do that, the next, the last step that you need is this marketplace sales channel right over here. So let's see, it might be in, so due to increased demand, we are restricting this feature as we create a better marketplace experience. Update your preference to automatically enable marketplace when it becomes available in early 2022. And this is what we've been talking about. So you can go update your preference and right here, it's by selecting enable, the marketplace sales channel will be automatically enabled with your account right when early 2022 hits. So you can click on this right here so that it'll already be enabled and it'll go into this pending right here in this yellow. So that's good. If you're with that right there, then you're definitely set. It doesn't need to be yellow. They're gonna be 
approving them or not approving them, but giving us the marketplace early 2022 anyway. So as, as, just, as long as you see the marketplace below that, whether it's even red right now saying can't be enabled at this time, they're waiting for early 2022. So if you have that, you're all set. I really, really recommend you guys try to build through all these shops the same way that we just built through a ton of them and try to make like five to seven shops. And if you can get like even two or three of those approved, you can start bulk listing on the other two, manually posting on one, seeing what works better for you. And then once you know what works better for you, kind of lean into that route and only do that. And then you can hire on VAs to run shops. And then you can start scaling up so much with that because we have a shop where we profit, I think, 3k i think and and that went through like glitches and lockouts in the month and we still got like 3k on that shop and we actually did that only posting like 15 items a day so imagine now you get a va that comes in that's posting 50 items a day that's going to be crazy and you can make a ton of money you can make like i said anywhere from three to six thousand dollars off of one va running your shop for you and then if you start to expand out and add multiple shops and just keep hiring on vas and making sure you train them the right way because that's huge you got to make sure that they're trained the right way so that they can run a profitable shop for you or else their posts are just going to be garbage and they're not going to do anything for you and you're not going to get views you're not going to get sales but like i said inside of that subscription website i'll be making or me and hunter will be making a course where we're talking about finding a va training the va and then what our profits look like with that va and you guys can follow that exact formula and start scaling up with your with your shops and start hiring out VAs and start hiring out a team to start scaling up your business. But that's all I have in this video. And if you guys like the video, definitely drop a like down below. It really helps push this video out to more people so it can help them build through their shops. And I'll see you guys in the next video.